Yeah, what's good? This your man right here, Kurt Nice. Shadesradio.com, hiphoplives.net. Temple of Hip Hop, Shades of Hip Hop, you know how I get down. All right, normally I just bring you original hip hop style music talk and culture. But today a topic has come up because of some posts that I was getting uh, on my YouTube. All right, the first one was of Cassidy, the rapper Cassidy. Uh, he was he was spitting this um, real Christian Bible inspired rhyme, okay, and like most of Cassidy's rhymes, it was a good rhyme because Cassidy is a very skilled MC. So he broke down a lot of like you know his patterns, his flow, his technique, his choice of words, and everything was on point. It was good. Um, now, I didn't happen to really agree with anything that he was saying in the rhyme. But then again, when Cassidy rhymes, most of the time he's talking about guns and, you know, bucking the person down. I don't agree with that either. I just know it's a good rhyme because he can he can rap. You know, he's a skilled MC. He knows how to put words together. I don't necessarily agree with the subject matter. And I don't agree with what he's saying. But, you know, I can tell it's a good-ass fucking rhyme because he's a good-ass fr- fucking rapper, right? He's, 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 I'm not going to say he's one of the best or something like that because people go overboard with that shit. You know, there's a lot of MCs. Cassidy's not the best MC in the world, by far. I know people that you've probably never heard of that will dust Cassidy off like a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's something else. In general, Cassidy's better than most rappers that you see out, okay? All right. I just happen to be in contact with a lot of good ones that you might not have heard of. Okay, but anyway, that's not the point that was bothering me. The point that was bothering me was when I was reading through all the comments, he got a lot of good, good, you know, responses from people because they were really into what he was saying. And I started to notice that these were just really just Christians. And they were just so happy that a rapper was saying something about Christianity. And maybe they noticed that it was a very skilled rhyme. I don't know. I think they were just really happy that person was like quoting, sort of quoting Bible verses and stuff. Anytime somebody quotes Bible verses, Christians, you got them. Start taking the money out your pocket and put it in a plate because you got them. All right. That's all they want to hear is somebody saying John verse three, verse 16. All they want to hear is somebody saying Matthew 24. They want to hear you say Job. T- you know, they love that shit. All right. And that's great. But, you know, Christians aren't really the ones to be taking a good judgment from, like if to tell something is good or bad or not, because they're just into it for a different reason, because somebody's backing up what they believe in. And my thing was. I don't think Cassidy believes any of that shit he was saying. He was just saying it because it sounded good in a rhyme. Because he's talking about this Christianity shit and all this. Meanwhile, he's got a stupid, dumb, blinged out fucking watch on. You know, a nice little chain and everything. Like, I'm sure his jewelry that he had on cost a couple of thousand dollars. That's not very Christian. If you really believe in some Jesus shit, you're not wearing a fucking, you know, $500 watch. Which I'm sure that probably... He might try to say that it was more than $500, but, you know, I don't trust them big watches. A lot of them shits look fake to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, who knows where them fucking diamonds came from? Like, is those real diamonds? Are they fucking zirconium? Like, are they diamonds with a whole bunch of chips and scratches on them? I don't know. You know, so, um, that, you know, it's easy to fool a Christian. All right? It's easy to fool somebody that wants to just hear you say what they want to hear. Okay? So, there's not a lot of critical discernment when it comes to listening to their to their review of something all right and then it it, it actually went to this other dude I, I can't even pull the guy's thing up right now because my, my my computer's fucking up um but he was it was a thing about alex jones and he was talking about the jesuits and the catholics and da 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 and how that's a big uh they run the world and the black pope not physically black but like as in black as in evil the evil pope right they were talking about what's the dude hans kovenbach and then the other new guy whatever his name is you can look it up the black pope you can look it up on youtube and he'll come up it's the jesuit mil- sort of like paramilitary infiltration units of christianity these are all christians though supposedly all right doing all of this ill gotten shit so he went all through that, you know, for a while. But then at the very end, he says, don't smoke marijuana. It clouds your mind. I know for a fact that it clouds your mind because it used to do that to me. And when I got saved, I stopped doing X, Y, Z. So then I was like, oh, man, here we go. Here we go. Another fucking, 
you know, saved Christian. And and, 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 and see, it's just like uh, pe people that like were on drugs and then they find Christianity. They'd be like, no, drugs are bad. Christianity is the real way to go. That's like the same as dudes finding religion when they go to jail and they get locked up. A lot of like people in the black community, or whatever, they might get locked up and then they become a Muslim and shit. Because that's like your sanctuary in, in rough times. All right. It's not like if you wasn't a Muslim before you went to jail, how come you're a Muslim now that you went to jail? And it's the same thing with the Christianity. If you wasn't a Christian before you became a drug addict, how come you're a Christian now? You know what I mean? Yeah, because it saved me. Okay. Well, maybe that's your new drug. Right? Maybe that's your new addiction, believing in that shit. All right? And, if, and it's really, I find it hard to believe that the hardest drug you was on was marijuana. And then now you're a Christian and you have to talk about marijuana. Like, it had nothing to do with dude's conversation at all. Like, he was talking about Jesuits and Alex Jones. But then he went in, like, right at the end, he went into this little rant about marijuana is so bad and it clouds your mind. Like, the, it, one didn't have to do anything with the other. Right? But the whole idea of, you know, marijuana being bad for you, but Christianity is not. Think about that, though. If people's minds are clouded because of weed, what have they done? In reaction to that, like they, oh, they, they're unmotivated, they eat too much junk food, and they don't do anything with their life. That, that's the, the stereotype. But Christians whose minds have been clouded with the belief in Jesus over the past 2,000 years have murdered people, conquered other people's countries, gone in, and, you know, they've become Jesuits and Roman Catholics trying to, behind the scenes, control people. I'm sure none of those people smoke weed. But those, these are people that you just pointed out as some of the most evil people in the world. And I'm sure none of them are probably weed smokers. All right. But you, you point to weed as a problem. And the other thing is, why are you worrying about what the next man's doing to his own personal, in his own personal environment and space and to himself? Why are you worrying about that? Worry about him becoming a Christian. He has more uh, opportunity to do evil. All right. Think about those people that stand out and protest on the um, military funerals. I'm sure none of them smoke weed, but they're all Christians, though. And they have the nerve to come out in front of somebody's funeral and be like, God hates fags. That's why your son is dead. I've never seen a roster do whack shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I've never, like, rosters for the most part are, are peace loving people, but they believe that weed is like a sacrament. You know what I mean? And, and I'm not really a roster like that because I'm not a Christian. Rastas are all Christians, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm not a Christian, you know what I mean? So it's funny that, you know, people point to, oh, weed clouds your mind and you become un unmotivated. Well, like the biggest weed smoker that you could, pro that anybody in general would name would say it would be like Bob Marley. Now, was he an evil person? Did he, was he lazy and unmotivated and was his mind so clouded that he didn't do anything good for people? No, he's actually brought the most peace like like in a most peace loving type of way he's brought a lot of good to this world and he was an avid weed smoker all right so i mean just think about that a little bit when you try to demonize weed as a christian before you open your mouth to say that think about the detriments that the world has been um dealt because of christianity and then compare that to the detriments that the world has been dealt because of weed all right Think about that shit.